Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will explain simply about the structure of DNA. DNA deoxyribonucleic acid is a complex biomolecule composed of two polynucleotide chain that coils around each other to form a double helix that carries genetic instruction for the development functioning, growth and reproduction of all known organism and many viruses. Thus, DNA is the main hereditary materials almost all living organism found in nucleus of every cells. According to double helix DNA model of American molecular biologist James Watson and British molecular biologist Francis Crick. Chemically, DNA is made up of mainly three components. Number one, deoxyribose sugar. Number two, nitrogenous base that is purine or pyrimidine. And number three, phosphate group. Deoxyribose is a pentose sugar. Here, ribose become two deoxyribose sugar with removal of an oxygen atom from hydroxyl group at second carbon of ring structure of ribose sugar. For this ring structure of 2 deoxyribose sugar with absence of one hydroxyl ion becomes more stable and less degradable. Most important compound nitrogenous base are total 5 types in nucleic acid that is in DNA and RNA. These are adenine, guanine, cytosine, thiamine and uracil. Adenine and guanine have 9 membered fused double ring purine like structure with nitrogen atom at 1, 3, 7 and 9 position. Whereas cytosine, thiamine and uracil have 6 membered single ring pyrimidine like hexagon structure with nitrogen atom at first and third position. In DNA, these first four types of nitrogenous base found that is adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine. First carbon of deoxyribose sugar joined with nitrogen 1 of pyrimidine base or nitrogen 9 of purine base by glycosidic bond and to form the structural unit that is called nucleoside. When phosphate group is attached with the fifth carbon of deoxyribose sugar of a nucleoside by ester bond that is called nucleotide. Thus, single nucleotide is composed of nitrogenous base, deoxyribose sugar and phosphate group. This nucleotide is the monomer of polynucleotide chain of a nucleic acid. One polynucleotide chain is made when a huge number of nucleotide molecules combine together with the help of 3' prime to 5' prime phosphodiester bond linked between third carbon of sugar above and the fifth carbon of below next sugar of another nucleotide. By this repeated pat pattern, many nucleotides are joined together to form single polynucleotide long chain with sugar phosphate backbone and nitrogenous base at the central building block. When similar types of polynucleotide stand of opposite direction, run it with anti-parallel polarity and linked with double or triple hydrogen bond between two central nitrogenous base of these two polynucleotide chain forming ladder like double strand. If in one strand polynucleotide chain polarity of deoxyribose sugar is 5 prime to 3 prime then the polarity of adjacent strand must be 3 prime to 5 prime. Hydrogen bond between two nitrogen base of two polynucleotide chain show complementary base pairing. 
that is according to Chargaff's rule adenine must linked with thiamine by double hydrogen bond and guanine always linked with cytosine by triple hydrogen bond and the amount of purine base is equals to amount of pyrimidine base this complementary base pairing is very important for specific distance that is 2 nm diameter or 20 angstrom wide between two strand of antiparallel polynucleotide chain the dna double strand become twisted or coiled around each other of polynucleotide chain to reduce the space between nitrogen base phosphate and sugar strand and also for proper biomolecular activity of genetical inheritance distance between consecutive nucleotide pair is 0.34 nanometer or 3.4 angstrom one complete turning of dna double helix made up of 10.4 nucleotide pairs maintaining the length of 3.4 nm or 34 angstrom this spiral coiling of two strands around each other creates a major group and a minor group between each complete turn. That's all about brief discussion about structure of DNA. We shall discuss about RNA structure, DNA replication, RNA transcription, etc. in later next video. Thank you. See you again.